I'm like, oh my god, like we could have really like been hurt. Um, was on the night that we were going to. Hey guys, and welcome back to the vlog. So today I am um, getting ready to head to back to work <laughs> um i have a four-day drill this weekend uh, because i have to make up two days of missed drill because of our, our deployment last year so that's great um if you guys didn't know um if you get deployed stateside um and you end up missing drill for whatever reason like because you're deployed you have to make up all those days so it's luckily it's only two days so um we've got to make it up so it's a four day drill i'm actually really not tripping about it because it's more money so I'm not really tripping um so only thing is i can't start my internship and i need to uh i'll send the email later today but no today is friday i've got to I've got to email my internship lady to make sure she knows I'm not coming in on Monday and Tuesday. Well guys, I almost made it to post and I'm stuck in standstill traffic. I've been stuck here for about 10 minutes now. Haven't moved an inch. I haven't been stuck in traffic like this since 2016 when this truck exploded. Like boom, like pow, boom. <laughs> well, it's not funny, but you know what I mean? Like the truck exploded pretty close to me actually. And that is the last time I was stuck in traffic and I was stuck there for like an hour. 
and I was on my way to a date. I was on my way on a movie date and that got ruined. But that's like the last time I ever got stuck. Hope the person, whoever got into an accident is okay. The scariest thing in life is the thought of thinking that you left your ID somewhere. Or, or, if one time I left my ID, my freaking driver's license, my credit card, debit card, everything in my uniform, guys. And this is before I had this car, so I, this, this car is um, like a sensor, the, the key is a sensor for the car, so I can't go anywhere, I can't turn my car on, open the door, anything without a key, like without my key. Um, this is what it looks like if you guys care, but I can't go anywhere. So I had my keys and I don't think I had my keys on too. Oh, no, no, I had it on this wallet, on my wallet, but I didn't have anything in it. Wait, what am I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. I had the keys in my, on my wallet. And like I said, I th this particular key, like this car, I could just crank it up. <sighs> Y'all, oh my God. Went to go to the store, driving my ass, driving with no license, nothing, nothing. And I get to the store, I get to the register, and I'm like, damn. I left my freaking wallet, or all the stuff in my wallet, in my freaking uniform. I've done that twice. Luckily, the second time I did it, my mom was there and she paid for it, but. Awkward. I don't even, yeah. There is nothing there, or like getting to the gate and you can't find your shit. It's like, oh my God. Anyway. We just, and like, there's no service here. So, oof. I just stop and I just so happen to stop in an area where there's no freaking service. Monday and ugh, hair is not I'm looking like a scrub because I didn't feel like getting like looking good today so yeah about to head to chow and actually I don't think it's morning anymore we already had formation this morning and Trying to get some admin stuff read, done, and I came back to my room real quick. Um, and uh, it's about to be lunchtime, so just waiting on that. About to go back out, but anyway, yeah. So I'm waiting on. To, I'm waiting to do admins to do um, admin stuff um, because I got to get some of that done. Uh, some other people are in the motor pool. I'm here shaming clearly. But, um, no, not really. Well, kind of, but not really. But I'm, like, waiting in line and waiting for them to call me. So, it's, like, right across from the barracks. So, but I'm about to, um, probably get something. Go to the DFAC. And if you guys who are not in the military or army, I don't know if anyone else calls branch calls it a DFAC. But a DFAC is just the chow. So, anyways. Um, also, if you guys want me to do an updated how I do my makeup and hair um, in uniform, let me know in the comments. 
and I will do that for you. Um, it's definitely changed. <laughs> it's like so simple. I literally do nothing except my eyebrows. I didn't do it today because I just didn't really feel like it. But um, my hair today, I was like just kind of lazy, so I didn't really like do my hair. And it's annoying because I feel like I have to slick it back all the time because I didn't like do it how I usually do it. But um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna call my friend and see if they're gonna go to um which defect they're going to go to. And I'll check back in with the guys later. <sighs> Made it home. Very long drive. Almost ran out of gas. <laughs> Cause I was trying to push it <laughs> to get as close to home as possible. And because I know that the um, gas closer to my house is, well, not closer, but this gas station close to my house is pretty cheap. It's like 187. So I wanted to stop there. And it, the, my meter said I had like 13 more miles left. So I was like, okay, I can do this. And then all of a sudden, the thing went blank. I was like, crap. But I made it. So I've got to, I've got a few more classes I'm gonna take. Um, in the next few weeks and then I'm retraining uh, to be C uh, CLS certified, I guess recertified. I don't know if you ever not are not certified after you're certified, but I think it's like CPR where you have to do it every so often and I haven't taken a CLS class since 2015. So a little rusty, so I'm gonna take one of those. That class is like five days long, so I'm gonna go take it. And then a one in a few weeks I have, um, it's like a suicide assist training. We call it assist. So that should be pretty cool. Totally left my jacket in my friend's car. Let me get. So yeah, it's already been a start to a very um, busy year. So ended busy with the hurricane mission and stuff and starting off busy and hopefully no snow apocalypse starts acting up because I have to have like a certain amount of hours for my internship. So yeah, but if it does, I won't complain cause that's extra money. But um, yeah, if it's anything like the hurricane mission. Our hurricane mission was supposed to be a few days and it ended up being two weeks. But that check was nice though. And it was cool, like it was a pretty cool experience. Like, um, it was really cool. Like I, I mean, my unit is, if you guys don't know, I'm 88 Mike and I'm in a line haul unit, which we drive 915s, which are like the really big trucks. And we hit the ground like pretty hard, like for a national guard unit. And we drive a lot, a long distances all the time, a lot. Not all the time, but like when we, well, uh, yeah, we do. So, when we hit the ground running, like we go and we were the only unit out there like for t for a while doing missions back and forth early in the morning. That's the garage if you guys are wondering. Um, so we were like really busy during the hurricane. So, but it was a really good experience. I got more, you know, it's time under my, or driving miles under my belt and you know, more awards and stuff. So it was pretty cool. But um, it was also scary at the same time. Like I think I mentioned in the vlog when I did that vlog and I'll have that um, in a card if you guys want to see it but it the devastation there and we weren't even really in the hard hard hit areas like we were right on the border of Florida it was crazy like it was so sad like lines and lines of cars waiting to get MREs something that we don't really like to eat um and just water like a case of water and MREs to eat like or tarp so that you know the water wouldn't get more into the, get more water into their house like because the roof was all effed up so it was like it really put things into perspective and i know a lot of the time we're always like we're just national guard we don't do anything we're not really that special which i mean i don't feel special or anything but like i was so glad that i was a, was able to be a part of that experience um so and it definitely made me look at life like a lot different just be appreciative of what you have because you never know like it could be literally be like gone in a snap like so um, and there are also like times during the hurricane mission where some scary times, like one of the most scariest times of my career so far, and I've only been in for four years, 
was on the hurricane mission and i still to this day i'm like oh my god like we could have really like been hurt um was on the night that we were going to a mission it was like late at night and we were running missions all day all night and we only got maybe like eight hours in between of rest maybe and um and our missions were a good 12 hours long but anyway that's besides the point but it was late at night we were headed to a town that had no power like the whole entire time was black like no power and all of a sudden we we're going into it kind of seemed like we we're going into the mountains but like you can tell we were going up high in elevation and all of a sudden like oh and the trees and like power lines and shit were like literally like a tree supposed to stand up this like this this is the ground trees supposed to stand like this trees were literally power lines and trees were literally like this hanging off the road and it just so happened like right before um when we were driving in like I don't know how we stopped in time, but a freaking big ash tree fell in front of our truck. Uh, I think I was, I wasn't driving. My battle buddy was driving and he happened to stop in time. And the truck in front of us happened to get un out from under the tree. Like it missed them and it missed us at the same time. Talk about shit in your drawers. Oh my God. It was so scary. And I was like, I was scared. Like <laughs> I was like looking everywhere, like making sure there was no trees. Um, you know, so and then the same night a power line fell on us like and it got kind of in a, uh, my window happened to be down and the and the lines were like in the window and shit oh my god scary as hell so anyway that's your story time but i'm about to uh i'm about to um you know get settled in and stuff and call it a day